Como ya la vi Solita pues me pregunté ¿Qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita Eso fue descomunal Dale, dale, tra, tra Tú sabes cómo es Como se lo mami Contra la pared Hi! <laughs> if you saw my previous video, that's probably why you're here. And if not, you may want to go take a look at it. Sorry. I worked my ass off to pay for my ass, and then I had to work my ass off to get my ass off. See if the hair cooperates. Today, if a roll comes out, mind your business. Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> Hola and hello. Welcome back to Time with Tally. I'm Tally, and I hope you spend some time with me today. I am so excited to make this video today just because you all have been amazing. All the people that have actually taken the time out to just subscribe and or watch or just send me positive comments, I love you. Before we do anything, you already know what to do. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your grandma, tell your grandpa. Now I will say, I am not the most toned, muscular muscle mommy that there is out there, but the way my body transformed, I'm very proud. And that's all that matters. <laughs> I probably won't get into exact specific details, probably just on a few things like workout split and calorie intake at the time and what phase of the journey I was in. As I always suggest, refer to professionals when you're actually wanting to start a journey like this because they'll be able to teach you better. Because I don't want this to be a super long video, I likely will be posting photos and they'll be in chronological order, but I will not get specific with dates or anything. If you don't know what a BBL is, it is a Brazilian butt lift. It is a cosmetic procedure where they basically take fat from one area or multiple areas and they put it really kind of anywhere you want, but mostly in the butt. So usually it's for women that want a bigger tukas. In my case, it wasn't that, but I'm not gonna get into those details. Check out the previous video. Once that fat is transferred, it actually can be altered after it actually heals up because the fat will create its own blood supply and it basically functions like the regular fat that's on your body after that point. It's not implants, it is not plastic being put into your body. It is your own fat just moving from one place to another. In my case, my butt held on to everything because it was not rationing around here. My butt was my biggest hater, I don't even care. I do want to begin and say that I actually had surgery right before I started nursing school again for the second time in my life. And once nursing school started, I kind of put off the gym. I always thought, you know, I will tone this post-surgery physique up, but right now my focus was school and making sure that that was taken care of first. Because if you've been to nursing school, <laughs> you know. Mind you, this was also nursing school being done remotely due to COVID. So this was in the middle of the COVID pandemic. I allowed myself to heal and allowed the fat to just soften up, heal up, and what we call fluff up in a sense. It's basically when your fat that was transferred during the surgery finally settles naturally into the body where it will stay. Although my original mentality was to just tone up and maintain my BBL once I had the surgery, once I actually saw the results of the surgery, that goal entirely changed. I wanted out. I wanted a receipt, I wanted a refund. And to this day, I still think it's a little too big. So the beginning of my gym return actually began August, 2022. So about a year ago now. I would just like to say, this is just what I chose to do. This is what worked for me. I do not suggest this in any way, shape or form. I am a nurse. I can monitor myself for signs and symptoms of any kind of changes, but I would recommend if you plan on doing anything like I did, which I don't recommend, be followed and monitored by a provider. Cause you remember in that last video when I said the only changes I make are really drastic and dramatic ones. I don't do anything that's very like slight or minimal. Yeah, don't be me. At this time, I wanted to hit a huge reset button. So what I decided to do was I'm going to really test myself and put myself through the ringer before I start this journey. So I decided to do a fast, a water fast. <laughs> so for four days, all I did was intake water and electrolytes. I chose to do a fast first because I really just thought if I can push myself to complete this, I can push myself to really do anything, right? I started out with a fat loss journey and began with keto first as a temporary measure. Keto is low carb slash no carb type of diet. So no pasta, no bread, no rice. As a Puerto Rican woman telling me I couldn't eat rice, it was like you just shot my grandfather. I'm sorry. What encouraged my decision to actually have a fast first at the beginning of the journey was that it would also help in the initiation of the ketosis process. The ketosis process is basically where your body takes 
the stored fat in it and uses that as the main source of energy instead of carbohydrates which are short-term energy. I only planned on doing keto for about a month or two but I ended up seeing the results and how I felt and I said never mind I'm probably gonna add just one more month. <laughs> During the fat loss journey all I really did was mostly focus on the calories. I did try to eat healthier. I was in a calorie deficit which is what you want to do when you are trying to go for fat loss. So the first two weeks in August I actually monitored my calorie intake without changing anything in my diet. I ended up getting an average number for what I intake for calories on a daily basis and I came up with 1800. So instead of taking 1800 daily when I started my fat loss journey, I actually went down to about 1600 calories a day. I weighed about 195. I'm 5'4" just for reference. In those three months that I decided to do keto, I lost about 25 pounds. My routine was mostly like a push-pull legs type of thing and a cardio core day. Since fat loss was the goal, I would usually end every workout with about 25 to 30 minutes of cardio. You don't really need that, but if that's something that you enjoy, go for it. Three months into my journey, it's now October 2022, and here, I think it's time for a change. I had lost enough weight, and I was okay at this point where I was like, okay, if I were to gain a little bit by switching things up, I would not be upset. And I began my body recomp. A body recomposition is when you're losing fat but gaining muscle at the same time. To begin my body recomp, I slowly started adding carbs back into my diet. I would have, in the first few weeks, just one meal a day that would have a little bit of carbs, whether it was a slice of bread or half a cup of rice, something like that, and I gradually increased that. I raised my calorie threshold to 1,800 at my maintenance calories and just switched up my workout routine a little bit. I was still doing a push-pull legs and cardio core day, but I switched up my reps at this time. Instead of doing like higher volume training just to get used to the working out and whatnot, I did more so reps between like six and 10, trying to go till failure. I do want to mention if you are looking into doing a body recomposition where you lose fat and gain muscle, I need you to be aware that scale, those numbers will not change much if you're doing it right. Muscle weighs more than fat. So when you're looking at the numbers while you're losing all that fat and you're gaining muscle, you're likely not going to see much of a shift. One of the best things I ever did was stop looking at the scale. You're gonna drive yourself crazy. In this time period, I was still consuming alcohol and smoking with friends, not cigarettes. Socially. <laughs> New Year's Eve came and I decided I was going to cut it all out. I never needed substances to actually have a fun time and they never really made me feel that great and they're not good for my body. So what was the point? Really, what is the point? What's not clicking, Steven? I continued the cycle up until my graduation in June 2023, so a couple months ago. Graduated nursing school, everything was kind of settling down for a few weeks into June. And July came and I started having this realization that I needed to check myself. Holding yourself accountable is one of the most beautiful things that you can do. What we're gonna do on this channel is be real. Like, be so fucking for real. Sorry, God. I had realized since I started my body recomp, I had already been, what? October, November, December, May, June. That was about nine months in a body recomp and I was getting comfortable. I was getting comfortable with where I was body-wise. I was getting comfortable with my friends at the gym. I wasn't going as hard as I could have been. I was feeling as if I was in a plateau. My body wasn't really changing. I was definitely looking more forward to seeing my friends and having laughs than I was to train. And it's as if I almost lost the intention that I originally had placed on this journey. August 1st, here comes drastic change, Jerry, me. Here I initiated a switch up entirely. I switched gyms. I always had a second membership to another gym. My friends had texted me, I can't focus. ADHD, ADHD, ADHD. I started going to my second gym membership, which I had always had, but I didn't really use it unless I had to work late nights and I went to the gym afterwards or before because it's a 24 hour gym. I switched up my workout split. I switched up the workouts in the split and I began a mini bowl, which I planned to do for the next two months. Technically, I'm in the middle of right now and I only call it a mini bulk because I know I can eat way more. <laughs> For my first on purpose bulk, cause I know damn well, I have bulked before and it was not on purpose. I didn't really wanna overdo it. During this mini bulk, my calories have capped usually around 21 to 2200 calories. This is my current status. Not one drink has entered my body. I have not smoked at all. And I'm actually very proud of myself, period. I do eat a fully balanced diet of proteins, veggies, and carbs, of course, proteins being the number one priority when you're trying to build muscle. I eat about 180 grams of protein a day. Usually it has to be somewhere between 0.8 to 
one gram per pound of body weight. So you already know how much I weigh, shut up. It's kind of nice because currently I'm a little bit more lenient with myself. If I wanna have that, you know, dessert once in a while and eat it first. Yeah, you heard me. If you don't eat your dessert first, you're doing something wrong. Don't shoot the messenger. And that's really the only reason that I'm a little scared to start this cut in a few weeks. My desserts, crazy. Especially during the week of my cycle. Don't even get me started, bro. My split currently is a full arm day a chest and back day. I do quads and hammies and then a calf and booty day plus a cardio core and conditioning day as well. I've been trying to get my grip strength up and do other fun things. Stuff that makes my body just feel good. It doesn't have to be weightlifting all the time, you know? Fun fact, I've also been trying to incorporate them because I have been wanting to do like, for example, like an obstacle course slash like Spartan race and I'm kind of training for one yet I have not actually booked one yet. I wanna do it though, <laughs> and I will eventually. I'm trying to build that endurance, you know? My plans and my goals going forward. I do plan on starting a cut on October 1st, which is only in a few weeks actually. I have yet to decide whether I wanna carb cycle, maybe try keto again temporarily, or what I wanna do, but I'm sure I'll let you all know once I decide. I am so nervous, but I'm really excited. I don't know how my body's gonna change, and it's nerve wracking to say the least. Some people might ask, what's your goal physique? I personally just want thick cut bacon ass abs, a turtle shell back, and some massive quads. I want to walk down the street and people to question whether or not they should rob me because they're scared of me. I just wanna be a buff bitch. Will, will I get there? We shall see. On the next episode of Time With Tally, that was cringy as fuck. My goal is not just a physique. My goal is just me pushing myself harder than I thought I ever could on a daily basis. That is how I transform my body from post-surgery physique to what it is now. I will continue this journey and I hope that you actually join me on it as well. I do hope to see you in another video. Thank you for your support and keep in touch. Comment below. Do not hope or expect you to look like someone else. Hope or expect you to look like the best version of you. Nobody else can have that or do that. It is a rarity in its purest form. Los amo a todos. Gracias por todo. Bye.